Most people have two kidneys about the size of their fists located in their lower back. Just like your brain or heart, kidneys keep you alive. Medications for lupus nephritis work to prevent the overactive immune system from attacking the kidneys. The treatment varies depending on the class of the disease. No matter the class, lupus nephritis is usually treated with hydroxychloroquine and blood pressure pills, ACE inhibitors, or ARBs. However, there may be specific reasons why it's not recommended for some people. For classes one and two, additional therapy is usually not recommended. However, if there's a lot of protein in the urine, then a glucocorticoid, such as prednisone, may be added to further suppress the immune system. For active cases, classes three and four, the first treatment phase varies from about three months to one year, with an average time of six months, and usually includes a glucocorticoid and either mycophenolate mofetil, MMF, or mycophenolic acid, MPA, or cyclophosphamide. The second treatment phase usually continues for the longer term with either MMF or MPA. Other immune-suppressing medications include calcineurin inhibitors, CNIs, and B lymphocyte-targeting biologics. Another medication, azathioprine, is more often used in women of childbearing age during this second phase. Stable classes three, four, and five that have been controlled for three to five years usually continue to be treated with hydroxychloroquine and blood pressure control. Additional immune suppressing medications may be needed. A relapse is usually treated with the same medications that were prescribed in the past. Remember, treatment is specific to your needs. The good news is that when it's found early and treated right, the outlook for kidney disease patients can be very bright.